the other theorem I'm going to prove is the following, that if lambda is a root of the minimal polynomial of a certain operator t on a certain finite dimensional vector space v, then lambda is an eigenvalue, an eigenvalue of t, of course. And to prove that, well, suppose p of lambda equals zero, and let's run the polynomial division. We have the minimal polynomial, we divide it by t minus lambda, we get some q, q has what the, what's the degree of q is the same as the degree of p minus 1, okay? plus some remainder, but then the remainder we know it has to have degree 0, so it's constant, and the constant has to be 0 because p of lambda equals 0. Uh, so this, this division here, p divided by t minus lambda is exact, well, if and only if lambda is a root. So we can write p as a product of this term plus q times q of t, q of t has degree less than the minimal degree. Okay. That's what is written here. Degree of Q will be less than the minimal. Well, since Q has degree less than the minimal, Q of T cannot be zero. Okay. This would violate the property that the only non-zero polynomial, uh, or if a non-zero polynomial satisfies this, the degree has to be higher than, than the minimum. Okay, because Q is also a monic polynomial. If we look at the coefficient of t here is 1, of t here is 1, the leading coefficient is 1, 1, so here it's also 1, so it's monic. Okay, so Q of t cannot be 0. So if, if Q of t cannot be 0, well, look what is P of t equal the, the composition of t minus lambda i with Q of capital T. This is 0, which means whatever vector we put here will give us 0. However, since q of, q of t is not zero, there exists some, the range is not, is not just zero. There exist non-zero vectors in the range of q of t. Okay. And any vector in the range of q of t, so we put some u here, we get v here. When we apply t minus lambda i to v, we must get zero because this operator here is zero. Okay. So we must have t v equal lambda v, so we found an eigenvector corresponding to lambda, so lambda is an eigenvalue.